Hello and welcome to the Robo Samurai channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Studio Series 8617 Ironhide and this Ironhide is from the Transformers the movie from 1986 hence the 8617 well 17 means it's the 17th one in the line but 86 for making reference to that um, original animated movie so let's go on ahead and take a look at the box here um, the box is pretty cool it's got the of course there's no plastic in here to prevent the elements from hitting it whatever um, and then there's the front oh well, there's the back this is the front and this is the back and let's see here it says big screen inspired de scale detailed backdrop you can't see that part because uh, I haven't pulled this back a little bit here see here there we go just a bit here all right and what else does it say Decept Decepticon shuttle ambush so that's what this um, is from and of course he comes with this backdrop there's this other side there's the back and the top let's get that backdrop out and take a look at it and yes indeed it is the Autobot shovel where the Autobot shuttle and you can put iron hide on here and if you choose to display them that way it's a nice way to kind of do it and it's great that they provide that for you so yeah neat um let's take a look at the iron hide figure and he is you know what it's interesting so iron hide <laughs> there have been so many releases of him and uh uh well this one here this one here is pretty good, I'm just going to say. Um, he looks pretty nice. Um, he comes with these two guns, which he's holding. I'll go on ahead and take these out. Um, and uh, you can see they're painted silver here uh, with a little bit, uh, yeah, with a little tiny handle. Kind of resemble the ones he was using in the movie, by the way. So there's that. And then, you know, um, they have these little, uh, let's see, are these little rectangular slots in them and so you can put them in several places he can be that you can store them here on the back of him on his back in his backpack or whatever you can store them like that um yeah there's some other things other storage options we'll talk about uh when we get to his alt mode so let's take a look at this uh this guy up close and uh yeah he looks pretty good um you know what yeah, he looks really good, in fact. Um, I'm, uh, the only thing I think just a little, little weird, and I'm going to say a little weird, is maybe these, this blue transparent plastic here um, up here. But it doesn't really distract me too much, to be honest with you, you know? So um, what we got here is a very nice-looking figure. He's uh, very, you know, not a lot of backpack there. Um, it's a little minor, minor amounts of kibble. We'll talk about all this here <laughs> um, in a bit. Uh, so, yeah, he's, I think this is a pretty decent figure overall. Um, he's got, uh, his head is on a ball joint, so he can go all the way around. Um, yeah, like that. It's a little tight. That's okay. You can look up and down and, uh, yeah, it's nice. Um, and that's perfectly good good looking iron hide head sculpt i mean you know um and then the arms they will do the whole 360 and then when you lift up the arms they you get this little bit of detail underneath here that's really cool you know so both of them do that so nice um he does have the elbow bend right here he's got the bicep swivel and his wrists will also do the same um yeah so, and then, oh yeah, so you can move this hip skirt out of the way. You can get him to, to run like that, or he can do the splits. Um, so, uh, kind of, almost all the way there, so not too bad. Of course, you got thigh swivel. You've got knee bend, and that's what that looks like. And, of course, did I mention he has a waist swivel? Yeah. And it looks like he should, you know, because of this right here, but this only, you know, that he would have like an ab crunch. No ab crunch. That's okay. That's all right. Um, his feet, they, ha you can do a, uh, an ankle tilt, and then um, you can kind of do some poses like that. So his foot and all that other stuff, but not really a toe tilt per se. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going on there. So... Let's, I'm just going to do a quick comparison here. Um, here we got I, Optimus Prime from, um, from the uh, Earthrise line. 
and that's a good looking set actually a really good looking set if you think about it whoops hey that's a nice little sound okay so yeah it's a, it's a good looking set so if you have it it will look very very good so um you know and uh just because i have them out here um here's mirage and if you had this one then that's great um but uh, yeah, these are actually uh, from Nona Productions. They're, uh, um, they're just the extras. But you can see them in scale with the other Autobot. He's pretty good looking there. I think that that works. You know, it works out for me. So um, yeah, so uh, outside of that, uh, you can kind of see everything. Um, oh, he does have like one of those peg ports here. So if you have a stand, you can, a flight stand or something, you can mount him to that. <laughs> so. All right, so with that all being said and all that, let's get to transforming this guy. And, uh, okay, so the first thing, and I thought that, by the way, I thought that this would be a lot like the Earthrise or Siege version. Not really. Um, and I don't have those with me right now to do any, any good comparisons. So, but let's get to the transformation, shall we? Um, let's just do that. All right. Um... First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this chest panel, and then we're going to flip this out here. And then we're going to put his head in thusly. And uh, I, I don't, I think that this works, by the way, when we close it up. But, um, yeah, uh, I, sometimes I'll put his head in sideways just because it just looks like it's, uh, it's a little bit... Um, it doesn't say that in the instructions to put it sideways, but you can totally do that and uh and it kind of for me it just tucks the head away a little bit better and gives you more clearance in the front so that's what i will end up doing so um there are two little clear panels here you want to flip them out right there and get that ready to go and then we'll put that up there um next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this around 360 and then we're going to open this up here and then we're going to put um, we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna pull them to the pull them to the top here. Um, so go on ahead and swing them on this joint right here, and I'll put them there, and then they will snap together right here. So there is a little slot, and then there's a little like nub peg snap. There you go. Um, and go on ahead and do this. You might as well just do that. Um, pull his wrist down like that. So that'll be ready to go. And then we want to kind of angle these up a little bit just so it's looking like that. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take this and actually we're going to pull this backwards. So if we look here, you're going to lift that up and then we're going to turn this whole assembly around. Now hopefully I can do this the right way. Um, you see here, it's right there. This little uh, this little um, peg right here, and be, just be careful with it when you do this because it wants to uh, wants to go all the way around. Um, once you unpeg this, because you don't want to force it too much in the wrong direction there. So, okay. So now that we've turned that all the way around, then we're going to pull this front bumper up, and we're going to go ahead and just close that up and snap it in place. So. All that should be down, just like that. Okay, so, and there. All right, so let's pull this back up here. And um, I believe that's how I do it. Um, actually, rotate the waist back, sorry. <laughs> so now we're gonna lift these up and we're going to pull the legs over here. Now, the legs are gonna be kind of an interesting thing. So let's, let's concentrate on these. So the bottom of his feet are the back of the van. So I <laughs> have to pull these out like that. And, uh, oh, by the way, you can go on ahead and tab these legs together right here. That's what I wind up doing. That's what the instructions say to do. Go on ahead, pull these out, and then we're going to swing both of them up. But uh, before we go all the way, we want to take this here and open them up. And then put them up here. And then we'll just have them on standby there okay okay so now these little they're uh right here on the front of his legs you'll see it there these are little panels these panels are going to need to go up like this because we're going to swing this entire assembly up 
Um, and I'll show you that in a second. So pull this up and this goes all the way up. Remember we pulled those windows out and this is what it's going to be looking like here. Okay, so now, so what we should have is something that looks like this. Not quite a van yet. Um, let's see, am I got this correct? I'll double check my math. Carry the four. All right, so we want to make sure that these go into here and you'll see there's a little little peg, it'll peg right into the edge there. So, and then these can snap together, kind of like that. And they'll also snap together back here. And you'll see there's a little peg right there. You can snap it or you can kind of lay it on top of that and then close it up like that. So now let's look at this part here. Lift this up and we're gonna turn this. We're gonna flip this out right here. And then we're going to flip this and open it at the same time. Okay. And then we're going to pull that to the front. Do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to collapse it all together. Just like this. This will tab right here. This will tab right into there. Um, on both sides. Okay. And then uh, we want to close this all up. And then these will tab into here. Because that's what they did before. And then close these up. And those will tab right to the end there. Just like that, that there. And then we'll just kind of give it a good squeeze. And okay, uh, let's see here. Ah, okay. So I just want to make sure that we're good here. But these here are, and you want to be careful with them. So if you look very carefully, there's a little like notch here. So these are supposed to close up on each other and then do this. So, and okay. All right. Yeah. So I make it. Okay, actually pushing this over like that, that should do it. But of course I kind of didn't do it right. But there, there, one and two. So push this piece right here on top of that. And that'll snap it in place. It's just, you just heard, okay? Give everything a nice squeeze to make sure everything's together. Close, make sure you got all the gaps closed up and there is Ironhide in his alt mode. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Um, he's got, this is what we wind up getting. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty decent. I like that. Um, here's the front of him. And you can kind of see the Autobot symbol right there. And here's the sides. And there's the top. Give that a little squeeze. And there's the bottom. Now with the guns, you can, there's a couple of options. Actually, there's three. Specifically, you can take the guns and use these two tab points here. And you can mount them on top. Thusly. And you can have guns that way. You can also mount them to the bottom here. And I don't think, will they fit this way? Yeah, they won't really fit. Um... Uh, this way, but you can mount them here and have them like guns coming out of the front. How cool is that, right? So we've got that, and so he can have the guns coming out in the front like that. And then the instructions also suggest that you can put them back here. So you can put them here, and you can put them here. And then it looks like he has two tailpipes. Or if you only like him to have one tailpipe, he can have one tailpipe. There we go. So. Let's take a quick look at the close. Let's get a close up of this guy here, and we'll see that. Yeah, because of the painting here, you'll see that there. I don't know if it shows up. I can see it in person, but um, yeah, there's some color differences here. Um, that would be kind of a minor nitpick here. Um, the other side of this would be if you look here, yeah, these little nubs here, and you can see it better from the top. They aren't really a thing that you really want to take a look at. So. Um, and there you go. So do I recommend this figure? Yes, I do. I think that this figure is great. Um, and, uh, yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If, um, you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll talk to you next time.